Hello everyone, uh, Slime Trainer here. Today is Wednesday, May 8th. I'll be going my recap for today. Uh, so today I I tried to dip by, uh, which I usually try not to do because uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but this time it kind of bite me. Uh, so let's get started. So AMD, um, AMD, uh, it had this little push up here. Um, I tried to short here with this, uh, this break here. You can kind of see this little cup and handle um, forming. It broke by like a penny here. Uh, and then I, I started short, um, but then it ended up popping back, so I stopped out. So I'm trying to learn to, if it doesn't go my way, I have to stop out. Um, I cannot be waiting and let it, you know, uh, struggle me. So I stopped out there and it was for like a $30 loss there. Um, and then I took a short again up here uh, when it was trailing higher. Um, so I ended up uh, taking the cup and handle break again. Uh, but this time I think the handle wasn't, um, the handle was a little too high. So usually the handle you want it to be like a third. Uh, which is a more uh, bearish sign and pretty much uh, that would give it more momentum to the downside um, and then I think I was uh, I like this because it was in there was a five minute retest here um, potentially to the 2720s during this time um, I end up it ended up getting there right here um, but it initially uh, pop back down I I added and then I just covered um, a small bit here and then I, I should have covered more but I only cover a fourth size so I end up stopping out for a, a loss here and that was like a, a $30 loss or so um, so that ended up giving me a $67 loss on the short side here on AMD um, and then it up uh, breaking to new highs later. ATIS, so this one was on the gap scanner and pretty much what I saw here was, I was, I was, it was, it was on the watch list cause it was, I think it was a halt. Uh, and then a little peak out here, I was really hesitant to short around this area. Uh, but I saw it was uh, facing around this $2.50 area. So I ended up taking a short there uh, on that little break. Um, and it was uh, attractive because um, there was a potential uh, five minute retest here. Uh, I think it was this one. So the five minute was in like a 30 cent uh, move and potentially you're risking uh, 15, 20 cents. Um, but it ended up uh, breaking and then popping right back up. So I, I stopped out right away um, and I took a $30 loss um, in the earlier. Um, and then I took a gain here. So when it failed to um, reach back to VWAP, I went ahead and start short again. And this time it trailed a little bit lower. Uh, I took some off of there um, and here. Um, for I think I, I was up fifty dollars, and, and then I end up stopping the rest break even, um, or, or or actually I stopped the rest here, um, for like a fifty dollar win, um, and then this was my long position. So when I saw it uh, reclaiming this two fifty area, uh, which was once support, uh, support here, and then it became resistance. So it started popping back up here. And then when it had this wick, I started drawing my flag line here and I bought this flag break. So I bought this and I, I ride it and sold uh, pretty much way too soon. Um, I should have uh, kept a little bit, but it ended up uh, reaching and breaking new highs. And that was a four, three dollar winner just from here. Um, could have been a bigger winner. Um, and then I end up uh, 
shorting here again for another small win. Um, and then I took a loss here uh, on the short side. So I thought I saw a brick and handle, cup and handle, break, popped out. Uh, I ended up giving away uh, some, of, some of the profits there on ATIS. And YGen. So YGen was on uh, pretty much the percent gainers this morning. Um, it, it started to kind of base out here on pre-market, uh, which was uh, pretty interesting. So this two, 127 area, you can see it base here, base here, base here. Um, and then I also was interested in this uh, area, the 135. So it actually pop up. Uh, and then I was trying to kind of buy this dip here. So I went ahead and bought some dip there, um, thinking it would probably curl up and then maybe we could buy this uh, cup and handle flag break right? like this. Um, like a little curl here and then you could buy. Um, but I, I, I got in a little too soon, uh, a little bit of FOMO. So that ended up, uh, Taking a loss here um, for $125. Um, I, yeah, so this one, it, it fell to hold. You can kind of see it did a cup and handle here and then continue down lower. So this one, uh, I don't know, I should try not to, I guess, dip buy. Because dip buying um, or dip buy when it for my higher low. So if, if it did this, maybe it would be a better dip buy. But right here, it's just like an up move and then you don't know if it's gonna continue down or continue up. So um, it was a little uh, bit of risky move here, uh, trying to dip buy this, but because it broke above this resistance, I was interested. Um, and if it kind of held this area uh, and consolidate over VWAP a bit, it could start forming a cup uh, flag and it could potentially break out here. Uh, but so overall, uh, down a total of $133. Um, not the best trade. Um, the morning didn't really have any great quality setups. I pretty much didn't uh, follow, you know, my uh, niche, like my cup and handle breaks uh, or my um, flag breaks. So I need to be more patient and try not to buy the dip. And sometimes it's yeah, it's really hard to just stay, um, you know, diligent and um, follow your plan. But hopefully, um, I will get there one day. So as always, um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye bye.